blessed to be here to start a community iron pour event with Hoosier Pattern at the forefront, leading his community and teaching the foundry arts to his community and beyond. What's really exciting is that people came here and they really didn't exactly know what they were getting into. We are in the process of teaching people how to take sand molds and uh, allowing the public to come in and actually carve them. It's just really neat to see everybody's creations, you know, what, what they wanted to make. They take their idea and they carve into the sand and it's always an inverse, a reverse of what the casting will be. This was really a fun project. Much easier than I thought. I have to say it was just really mind boggling to see this happen. We're gonna light up this furnace. It's a cupola style furnace. That means that it's basically a giant tube with refractory. We line it with coke fuel and add a little bit of air to it and it combusts and it keeps the combustion high enough to melt iron. And the iron comes from Metal Tech Industries, which is another sponsor of this event. Once that's done, we're able to actually take that liquid metal and pour it into these molds that the uh, public have created today and cast their objects and they're gonna get a low relief plaque or sculpture that they created today. I was deciding for making like a um, dragon but I didn't know how to make a dragon so I made a bat instead. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of prep work so I started off by breaking pieces of metal. Afterwards I started breaking down uh, rocks of coke which is just coal that burns at a higher temperature. I, I think it's an awesome thing and I think it's just gonna blossom next year. So this is a 10 inch cupola of blast furnace. It taps about 100 pounds of uh, molten iron. This whole area is a wind chamber. We hook a blower up to it and it brings air in which circulates around the inner sleeve which is really hot. So it preheats the air before it injects it into the melt zone. I've enjoyed it. It was a lot easier than I thought. And you don't have to be a super artist to make something fun. We're going to be pretty close to the iron. They can see, you know, they can probably feel the heat and see all the metal like pouring into the molds and filling up all the details. And then it just sort of sits on top. These are open face molds. As soon as they like see the metal flow into their pattern and then they receive that, it's all going to like click and make sense. Came over and participate in this, it was a lot of fun. I thought my hands were gonna to be too shaky, but if I used both of them, I could sort of carve. We'll have a quench tank on site, so we'll actually take them there, cool them off, and we have a table where people that are just hanging around, they can actually help us clean them a little bit. It's kind of a cool opportunity to be the first person to see like all the results from this, you know, this whole workshop. Seeing that molten metal come out was just outstanding, and I, 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 can't, I can't thank them enough for coming and and helping and, and everybody's already talking about next year. And I did a deer head with big antlers and uh, I got my initials on there correctly, which I'm very proud of. What they do here at Hoosier Pattern is, is innovative and it's amazing and they're taking this traditional practice and adding this technology into it and it's just beautiful. It was just great to see little kids uh, getting involved mothers, fathers, just being able to take something home. Hoosier is so prominent in the industry. They're, they're definitely leaders in pattern making, but also the additive manufacturing and, and also just the educational side of it. I hope that people in the community realize kind of what a big player they are in the industry, but how, you know, that their hospitality and their like kind of genuine interest that this lives here and that's something they can be proud of. And I, I just think that's just a special connection to have.